Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon XG Next Gen. I have found a few more of the Shadow Pokemon wielders and whatnot. I think I've uh, found three of them if I remember right. Two of them are here in Agate. I know where one is back in Pyrite. So, but before we do that, I want to show you something really quickly. Let all the images load up. I think it's on box two actually. He has done it, but at a great cost as you will see. Uh, where does it show it? Oh, it's right there next to his name. I used the other Master Ball we got from Map Battle Area 9 to catch the Solar Rock because it kept Shadow Booming itself to death. And I needed it to be, every time I did, it would kill my Salamences. I was using two Salamences to get through it. And, uh, it was, it was just a big ordeal. So basically what happened was, is I got, uh, click out of this. I got this Salamence. This is the, uh, one that we caught from Ardos or whoever it was that had it. And uh, I purified it. It had Curse and Dragon Tail. So I used some rare candies on it to get it up to level 64 because it was like level 58. I wanted it to be a bit stronger. And then I started the battle and I would keep going until I got him to lead with Solar Rock. Then I caught Solar Rock with the Master Ball so it wouldn't be a problem. Then I would kill like two of his Pokemon until he had Metagross and then usually Weezing. I think it was Weezing when I got it right. So it would be he'd have three Pokemon. I caught the Solar Rock with the Master Ball. He'd have Metagross and Weezing on the field. And then uh, he'd have the Aggron in the back. I would use Curse on this Salamence until it got to plus 6 attack and minus 6 speed. So that way it would always go second. It would never go before my other Salamence. Who I used the Move Relearner to get him Dragon Tail back. But then I've already put Dragon Claw back on him after I finished. But uh, I would have this Salamence set up to plus 6. Tiamat would use Dragon Tail on the Metagross. Do like one fifth of its health. It would switch into the Aggron. This Salamence at plus six would hit with Dragon Tail to switch it back into Metagross. It did like one third of the Aggron's health. And I did it. I killed the Aggron before it ever got a chance to crash the game. I sadly had to use the Master Ball that I was saving for Ho-Oh on Solrock. But hey, doing that made it possible that if I hadn't done it, I don't think I'd even be able to go and deal with the Ho-Oh. Uh, I guess I could have tried to kill the Solrock and see if it would go to Mirror B. But I don't know. You can re-challenge that guy who has the Soul Rock, I'm pretty certain. So I didn't think it would let... I thought he would just keep it instead of it running away. I should have tested that, I guess, before using my Master Ball. But I was so tired of dealing with this, it was beyond worth it. I would have thrown five Master Balls at that thing if it got me out of there. But uh, this guy, we can battle this guy, and he has a uh, Shadow. Ho oh, ho, this gets my blood pumping. I'm fairly certain there are only four more Shadows we have to catch other than ho -Oh. And I know where three of them are, so we're going to catch three of them today, and that'll probably take the entire day. There's Beautiful Eye, that's the shadow for this one. But, uh, I meant to lead with Bayloom, but this is fine, I'll just use Glare with Nadra. We're going to catch three of them today, and then next video is going to be catching... I'll find the last one off screen, because I don't know where the last one is. There might actually be two more. I don't remember, I'm going to have to look at the shadow radar. But, uh, I'll do that and figure that out. I should Dragon Claw you. And then... What am I doing? I was going to throw a Pokeball at it already. I don't need to do that yet. But uh, we'll get these three today. Next video, we'll get whatever shadows remain, including Ho-Oh, and get that done. And then it'll just be... Uh... Is that Tailwind? I think that's Tailwind, but Shadow. Yeah. And then all that'll be left is Mount Battle Area 10 and the Oracle Coliseum. And that last fight with uh, What's-His-Face, but we'll get to that. Goodbye, Pidgeot. I hardly knew you. This guy actually only has three Pokemon, so this will go faster than I expected it to. Bow, bow. I expected him to have six. Do, 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 do. That's a Blastoise. Or as we in the business like to refer to it, a threat. Uh, I'm just going to Moonblast the Beautiful. I see how much it does. Stop Shadow Breezing, you nerd. Get out of here, Blastoise. Ain't nobody got... Oh, it lived! Wow. How about that? That doesn't happen often. Do you have Mega Launcher? He might. Didn't do that much damage, so I doubt it, but... Then again, that was non-stab, and this is a Melodic, so what do I know? How much is this gonna do? I'm seven levels ahead. That did nothing! That's fine. This Beautifly does not appear to have anything super annoying that could it, like it could, like, kill itself with, so... I'm not super worried about it. We'll get it slowly but surely. All it knows how to do is just spam Shadow Breeze, apparently. Even with the Tailwind team, it outspeeds Blastoise. That's beautiful. 
bam, 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 bam. Now begins the long process of throwing Ultra Balls at this thing until it eventually decides to stay in one. Please proc your Citrus that I'm sure you have. So I can just go ahead and get it out of the way. Yep, there it is. Alright. Don't have to worry about that anymore. From here on, I'm just gonna Moon Blast with Nadra until I think it's low enough and then spam Ultra Balls with Tiamat. Not Timer Ball. It's probably not strong enough yet. Get in the Ultra Ball. Down, down, and down. Stay in there, beautiful eye. I asked one thing of you. I know you're still, like, in really high health, but come on. Get in the yellow. Yep. I can Moonblast it one more time and hopefully not crit. We'll see how it goes. Nice and full para. Do, do. Do, 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 do. I have net balls. I should use that. I think there's a Butterfree I have to catch too, and I'm pretty sure one of the people I found is the one with Butterfree. In fact, I think Butterfree is the next person we're gonna fight. Stay in your net ball. I need to go back to the silent treatment. Oh boy, here we go. This is gonna take a while. At least we got it in the red, so it should be soon, hopefully. Full paras for days. Do, 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 do. After we catch this beautiful eye, I am gonna look at the shadow monitor really quickly to see how much I have left. I think it's just the Butterfree, the Stantler, there's one other thing I can't remember, and then uh, ho -Oh, I'm pretty certain, but I could be wrong. There might be one other I'm forgetting. But we got the beautiful eye, sick. And it still let Nadra recover to full for some reason. Really don't understand why it goes through that, but whatever. We've done it. Victory is mine. Bam, 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 bam. Get wrecked, old man. A fine battle that was. Highly enjoyable indeed. Let us battle again sometime. Yeah, whatever. Ooh, Masquerade is ready to be purified. As is Shuckle. Okay, Giraffe Ring 2. Uh, stop, please. Lunatone. All right. I think all of them got put in the shadow, or the shadow, in the purify chamber at the same time, so they just had the, uh, the same amount of shadow gods to get rid of. I also think it told me Latias was ready to be purified while I was doing the Agron shenanigans. So, uh, we have a lot to purify. We'll do that today, probably. Oh, you wish to have a battle with me? Yes. Well, well, isn't that flattering? Let's go. Depending on how long it takes to catch the three shadows that I found, we might purify today or we might purify next time. But there's the Butterfree, thank goodness. I have, like, two or three more netballs to try on it. And this Hitmonlee is going to be easy to knock out with, a uh, Double Edge. This one also only has three Pokemon. That makes it easier on me. Get glared. How dare you have Bullet Punch. You're the kicking Pokemon. What are you doing with a punching move? Who do you think you are? Get out of my face. Easy knockout. Goodbye, Hitmonlee. What else do you have in the back? I swear if it's another Pokemon that is going to break my game, I'm going to be livid. I better not run into anything like that Aggron ever again. Also, curse your Shadow Snooze. Damn it, no! Ah, Mightyena, you say. Honestly, I think I'll just call Tiamat to wake him up, and then I'll, uh, Moonblast this Mightyena to get it out of here. Then to start weakening the Butterfree. One shot? Aw, oh, come on. Oh yeah, the Mighty Ennis attack stat got lowered, thank goodness. This is gonna hurt. I was right, it hurt. Tiamat, you've done well, my friend. Good job. Nice and full para. What's something that can do decent damage to this uh, Butterfree? I bet it'll take a Psychic and it'll do like half. I don't know if I showed it or not, but I did switch around the team a little bit to be more put together for catching shadows again. 
Goodbye. You foolish Mightyena. Man, I really like Mightyena. I wish he was a way better Pokemon. I hope they give him a Mega at some point in like Gen 8 or something. I don't know. He deserves it. Psychic! Yeah, it went about perfectly, to be honest. Oh, come on! I, I can't deal with Spideff drops. Well, you know what? Moonblast probably does as much as whatchamacallit just did now. I'm going to go ahead and throw an Ultra Ball at it because I don't want to attack again with Nagisa after the Spideff drop. I'm going to save the Netballs for when it's lower on health. And then uh, I'm going to wake up Nadra and then Moonblast. Moonblast shouldn't do much even with the Spideff drop. Or if I could just get the catch here, that would be fantastic. Well, you know, I guess I asked a little too much there. Nadra, I need you to wake up. We gotta get this thing caught. Stop using Shadow Snooze every turn, you nerd. At least he went for Nagisa this time. I'm just gonna leave Nagisa asleep and throw Pokeballs, to be honest. Well, Ultra Ball again. I don't want to use a Netball until it's in the yellow. It's probably gonna get a Citrus Recovery after this Moon Blast. I don't know where that'll put it at. Ah, oh, come on. I was silent and everything. Dude, Butterfree's feet are so massive. It's actually ridiculous. Yeah, it's gonna citrus about the amount of damage I just did. Shadow Soul, what is that? I don't think I've ever heard that one before. Oh, yes I have. One of my Pokemon used to have that. I think Shroomish did. It's just Giga Drain, but Shadow. That's really annoying because now your citrus hasn't procced. But you're at an amount of HP that I should be able to Moonblast you again. Hopefully, though, you just stay in this Ultra Ball and we can all call it a day. Let's go. Another one down. Oh, I forgot to look at the Shadow Monitor. I'm going to do that right now. The guy we're going to next is in Pyrite, and I think he has the Shadow Stantler. Ah, yeah, strong as ever. Very good. Indeed. I know there's one other shadow thing, I just can't remember what it is. A battle is such a good thing, I feel rejuvenated after every match. Ho ho ho, good for you. Uh, let me look at ye olden shadow monitor. What do we got going on? Uh, yeah, Latias is ready. ho -Oh, we've got ho -Oh left. Uh, Farfetch'd, that's what it is. Stantler, yeah, it's just, I just have to figure out where the person with Farfetch'd is at, because I don't know. But, uh, we're gonna catch the Stantler today. And then next time, we will catch the Farfetch'd and go fight Mira B and catch the Ho-Oh. That'll be next video, and then we'll be done. And it shouldn't, we're only at about 13 minutes, so it shouldn't take me, hopefully, it shouldn't take me more than 10 minutes to catch a Stantler from this guy. So we will catch the Stantler and then go do some purification and then wrap up for today. And then I'll also, probably, I'll run the game off screen without actually doing anything. I'll just have it run so that we can purify more Pokemon next time. Because I don't think that uh, catching... The far-fetched and also beating Mirror B and catching his Ho-Oh will be a full video. And we need to get purifications done now. They all have to be done before I do the final vid. So I need everything except Shadow Lugia purified, really. Bam, down. You know what? I should save. Just in case I run into something else like that stupid Aggron, but hopefully not. If I do run into something else that breaks the game, then I just really hope that it's something that does not resist Dragon. <laughs> Because that made it a bit harder to deal with the Aggron. I had to reset about 15 times, somewhere around there. I had a lot of those matches go wrong where I had to redo it because, like, a, the wrong Pokemon was brought in. It took me a while to get the perfect strat down to be able to uh, beat that Aggron and also catch the Solrock. Unfortunately, I had to waste my Master Ball, but it just means ho is going to be a little more to, annoying to catch. We caught Rayquaza, Kyogre, Groudon, the Lotties. We caught all of those without Master Balls. The only thing we Master Balled was... A, this is the guy, by the way. The only thing we Master Balled was Lugia, so I think we can manage ho -Oh. Well, I'd better return to the inn again today and get rested up, but before I do that, a little spot of exercise would be the thing. It'll let me sleep better. So, Sunny, how about we have a quick battle? Let's go. Good, good. We'll work up a good sweat together. Bring it on. I want your Stantler. Worker dip. Bow, bow. Yeah, no, he did not lead with it. He's got some fairies. I think I'm leading with Tiamat, so that's less than ideal for me. But whatever, I'll deal. I don't know how many Pokemon this guy has. I'm going to assume probably six, because the other guys at the Battle Square had six. Yep, alright. This fight is going to take a little more time. 
But that is fine. We will get through it. That Stantler will be mine, one way or the other. Bam, down, 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 down. I like the Worker Sprite's mustache. It's pretty good. Also, easy level up for Nadra, who is my highest level Pokemon. Hydro Pump. Give me a crit. Didn't get the crit. It might have lived a crit, actually, just barely. Stop calm minding. I'm gonna have to. Gonna have to double edge you now. Couldn't think of the name of the move. Hello, x -Bloud. You know what? Honestly, you're probably more of a threat. I'm just gonna kill you with double edge. Get out of here. Exploud no more. Clefable would be more of a threat if it was actually competitive, but just having Calm Mind, it's probably not competitive. Plus, I'm just gonna crit it right here anyways. Watch. Yeah, crit. Exactly like I said. How dare you have Ice Beam? Should've aerialated it. Tiamat, I'm sorry. You did great taking out those other two. Well done, my friend. Uh, let's send in Bayloom so that I can spore the, uh, whatchamacallit. I can spore the Stantler whenever he comes in. That is not a Stantler, that is a Nidoqueen. I really hope Seed Bomb is enough to kill this Clefable. We're gonna find out. Can I, like, not miss two Hydro Pumps in a row, please? I'd really appreciate it. It's like 85 accurate or something, it should not be missing very often. At least we killed the Clefable. And I'm pretty sure I put the whatchamacallit on Bayloom. So why do you have Thunder? Whatever. Nadra will chew it. It's not Stab and Nadra as fat as can be in terms of Spadef. There's the Stantler. Does Stantler get Sap Sipper? I actually don't know. We're about to find out the hard way though. It's a Shadow Pokemon, whoever could have guessed. It also, I highly doubt it has Shadow Boom or anything similar. It might have Shadow Chant, but hopefully not. Please kill this Nidoqueen. Thank you for actually hitting. I appreciate it. Goodbye, Nidoqueen. Now I just gotta kill whatever his last Mon is, and then catch this Stantler. Please don't have Sap Sipper. Please, please, please. Have like Keen Eye or something. Okay, I don't know what it has, but it's not Sap Sipper, and that's all that matters. Good night, Stantler. Sweet dreams. Bam, down, now, 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 bam, down, now, 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 Blissey. Ugh. Good thing I have Mach Punch. All right. This Stantler will totally chew, uh, chew a Hydro Pump. So I'm gonna go ahead and Hydro Pump instead of uh, Moon Blasting, because I want to get this thing down pretty quick. Stantler is such an ugly Pokemon. <laughs> I, I don't like Stantler. Okay, yeah, it's I've missed three out of five Hydro Pumps. What is going on? Actually, screw off with this. Get this Blissey out of here. Easy knockout. Bow down. Bow down, 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 down. I think it can be asleep for one more turn and then it has to wake up, I think is how it goes. Watch this thing eat its citrus in its sleep. Yep. Another Hydro Pump will put it right where I want it, though. I am going to go ahead and throw an Ultra Ball with Bayloom, because I'm not doing anything else with Bayloom. Hopefully, we'll just get lucky, and it'll stay in the Pokeball, and we'll have it done. Bow down. Down, 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 down. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Hey, you're awake. It has Shadow Chant! I'm so mad! Why? It's such a horrible game design. The good news is that I've got it in, like, about the perfect position to catch, so I've got a good shot, at least. But man, I hate this so much. At least it's not Shadow Boom, that's even worse, but still. Alright, it's incredibly low. I've got, like, what, two, two or three Pokeballs I get to throw? It'll fall to two this turn, fall to one that turn, and then fall to zero on the last turn. I got three opportunities. So, I've got one opportunity while it's awake, and then two while it's asleep. I'm going to throw an, a timer ball on the last one, because then the timer ball will hopefully be at maximum power, or at least close. 
Of course, if he could just stay in the Ultra Ball before, then that'd be fantastic. I shouldn't have opened my mouth. Ah, uh, I hate this so much. Shadow Speed? Is it just agility? No, it's an attack. It's probably like extreme speed. Please let me catch this thing. I do not want to have to reset. This guy has six Pokemon. That's so much to have to go through. Bow, 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 do, do, do. Parish count is at two for everyone. Two more opportunities to catch this thing. Please just stay. Oh, no, no, no. No, I almost. Whew, that was close. I'm glad I realized before I hit Hydro Pump. Oh, thank you. Oh, man. I'm so... Dude, this hack, I enjoy it a good deal, but man, I am going to be so glad when I don't have to worry about this anymore. Catching all of these shadows that can kill themselves is actually just a nightmare, and I hate it. Ah, but we did it. That's all that matters. I lost, but hey, I worked up a good sweat. Yeah, good for you. All right, all that's left is the Shadow Farfetch'd and then Ho-Oh, of course. You're quite a toughie, I'm sure surprised. You should check the dual square up ahead here. You'll be sweating up a storm. Yeah, I already dealt with all of them. I don't know where the last person is. But uh, I will find them in my own time. Maybe one of those two I don't think I've talked to. I don't remember. I'll find them on my own time and then actually battle them on screen. Let's go to the research lab. Because I'm at about 22 minutes. That's enough time to go purify five Pokemon and then put five more in. Yeah, I think I'll let the game run a little bit on its own time just to let purifications go faster and we can get those done. Because that would be ideal. I have five purifications to do. Four and nine are nearly done. Eight is not far off either. Five has still got a little bit to go, but not too bad. Five's probably a legend. It's Maybe Kyogre or Groudon or something. I don't know. By the way, if you want me to use a specific legendary in uh, Area 10 of Mount Battle, leave a comment. Telling me, like, hey, really want to see you use Regirock for some reason. So, uh, if any of you have a preference, let me know, and I'll probably do it. The only ones that I'm, like, for sure I want to use are Shadow Lugia, of course, and then, uh, Rayquaza. Get this shuckle done. I guess I could hyperspeed these, but I don't really need to because we're not in a rush to finish or anything. And it's only five of them. Open the door to its heart. Good for it. What horrible moves of his has it learned? Latent power. I don't know what latent power is, to be honest. Masquerade had that too. Foul play. I don't think shuckle normally gets foul play, but that's pretty good for it. Infestation is a classic shuckle move. Man, I hate shuckle. It is so annoying to deal with. Hey, Latias. Congratulations. Get purified. Bow. I'm just going to put Latios in this one where Latias was because I know Latias was getting, uh, they're the same type and Latias was getting full flow, I'm pretty sure. So give it to Latios. Dragon Breath. That's bad. I'd rather teach you Draco Meteor. Extra Sensory is okay. Not as good as Psychic, but good enough. Scald, that's really good. I don't think you can learn that normally. And the Recover, of course, is great for a Bulkymon like Latias. No. Number six is the Giraffe Rig. Let's get this thing out of here. Yeah, probably I'll at least make sure that like four, eight, and nine are ready to purify next time. Maybe also whatever one is in five. So uh, that way you can get those done a bit faster. Because we got to get through the last... Th I'm going to also have to purify uh, Ho-Oh and Farfetch'd after I catch them. They've all got to be... Psycho Boost. That's a strong move. They've all got to be done. Before we go and uh, fight Grievel for the last time. Good old Lunatone. I had to waste a Master Ball on your stupid counterpart. And I'm still mad about it. But not as relieved as I am to be done with that nightmare. That was so horrible. Hey, Lunatone opened the door to its heart. Good for it. 
latent power. What? I, I'm gonna have to look at that move. What is latent power? Is it, uh... No, that's stored power. Stored power is the move where, like, as many stat boosts as you have determines... Head smash is great. Determines how powerful it is. That's a move that you, like, run on Calm Mind setups. Usually. Like, I think Latias can run it. Mega Latias, mainly. From what I remember. Alright. First off, let me... Where's Latias? Let me see that, uh, move. Should be here in box three, I think. Load in. Yep. Got good old soul do, which is great. Do, 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 do. Oh no, you didn't have it. Who had it? You do. Unlocks its hidden potential, raises all stats. Oh, so that's a move that doesn't exist. That's why it's only got one PP. That's kind of broken. It's really good, but it's broken. Uh... Alright, alright, we gotta get some shadows going. Are shadows only in box two now? Yes, only in box two. Alright, uh, let's try to get, let's get Latios first, obviously, because I said that I'd put him where, where, uh, Latios had been. So I got four more slots, four more. Solrock, I hate you, let's get you done. Flow, good. Uh, Zatsu, let's see if there's somewhere I can get you a flow, right there, perfect. More flow, the better. Uh, you know what? Let's just put in Stantler and the other thing. The Dunsparce. The normal types. Alright, so now... What is this? Wigglytuff is basically done. Uh, Groudon is not too far off. Licky Tongue is not far off either. Kyogre is basically done. Alright, six. So they're all nearly done. Uh, that just leaves Rayquaza who I'm kind of saving for last along with Shadow Lugia. I might use Shadow, like the Shadow version of Rayquaza. What, what Shadow moves do you have? Ascent Slayer, Shake, and Speed. Yeah, honestly, I'll probably keep Rayquaza Shadow to uh, go through Mount Battle Area 10 with, as well as Lugia, obviously. I'll give him, like, the Aura Booster or whatever it was. I might keep those two Shadow, because he's high enough level to do it at level 65. He's only five levels behind the level 70s we'll be fighting. But all we have left right now is, uh, Butterfree, Beautifly, I almost said Butterfly, uh, Beautifly, Butterfree, and then Farfetch'd and Ho-Oh will go here and here. So that leaves five Shadows plus Shadow Lugia, so six Shadows that are not in the Purify Chamber. And that'll be all of them. I am so pumped to, uh, finish all these Shadows. It's about that time. Before long, I'll be streaming again, hopefully. They actually, since I got a little time here, I'll talk about this. Uh, for those of you probably who know, because I talk about it plenty, and normally Pokemon games like this are my, like, just chat about whatever games. Uh, but uh, the company that's laying fiber optic in my area, they had some people come through my street and mark down where, like, the gas pipes and everything that are underground are at, like the electricity lines and stuff. They marked them all down. And that means normally that in the next few days, probably next week because it's Thursday that I'm recording this, they did it on Wednesday. So if they don't, I haven't seen them today. So if they're not doing it today or tomorrow, then they'll be doing it next week because I doubt they're going to work over the weekend. They might work Saturdays, but I doubt they work Sundays. I don't know how they're, I don't know how they do their business. But uh, probably next week we'll be laying it. And then hopefully the week after that, I'll be getting it installed. I'll be able to have someone come over and like set it up. Uh, the guy, I've already got my plan set up. And the guy, I went through a representative to set up my plan because he's a, uh, friend that uh we were doing commission through him because he gets paid through commission so uh he said as soon as you see them out on your street just go out there and talk to him say like hey i've already got a plan just run it up to my house and they'll do that and then we'll just have to call someone into a to do the final like in installation connecting it up so uh and if we catch them while they're out there and tell them to do that that'll save us like telling them to come up and run up to the house again would take like an extra three or four days so i'm kind of like every couple of hours i'm just looking outside like are they are they out there yet to make sure that i can tell them like hey run this up to my house i ain't waiting longer than i have to so hopefully i'll be able to i need to stream before august because if i don't stream before august then i think uh, i can lose my twitch affiliate thing because last time i streamed i believe was like the second or third of august roughly somewhere around there so i have to stream before july is over i might have to do a couple of streams with my horrible net where i'll just choose a random game to play that doesn't matter that much but uh 
I really just hope I can get Fiber Optic in the next, like, within the next two weeks and then start streaming normally before I lose my affiliate status. Because I don't know exactly what happens if you lose affiliate, like, if you can earn it back at all or if it's really hard to earn back or what repercussions there are for, like, because when, when I became affiliate, they gave me an email that said, like, hey, if you don't stream for, like, a year, you lose this. And then it had some other Momo Jumbo. And at the time that I got affiliate, I thought to myself, I don't plan on stopping streaming, like, ever. So that's not a problem. But then I had to because my net just kept disconnecting me and stuff, and the streams were awful as a result. And the quality wasn't that great either, so. But anyways, yeah, that's, uh, I need to make sure I've saved if I haven't already. I think I did, but whatever. Two more shadows to go. Fifteen need purified. Oh, I'm so excited. Next time, I will figure out where the guy with the far-fetched is off screen. I have no idea where. I'm gonna have to, like, comb through all of Agate, Pyrite, uh, Gadian, and the other place. What's the other one they can be at? Phoenix. I'm gonna have to comb through all of those and see if I can find them. And, uh, we will battle him next time. We'll purify some Pokemon next time. And we will, uh... We'll catch ho -Oh. We'll take on Mirror B's final bite. Uh, final bite. Final fight and get the ho -Oh. Uh, then after that, Mount Battle, Mount Battle Area 10, then Or Coliseum, and then the final video. So, yeah. And then once this is done, like I said, I'll get back to streaming. I'll finish up Coliseum, which was near done anyways, because I was already at Ein, so there's only, like, I could probably finish Coliseum in two to three streams. Probably three, because I'll want to do some of the post-game stuff and catch all the shadows, but it won't take me long to get through all that. And then I'm going to start Pokemon Explorers of Sky. That'll probably be happening in August, hopefully. Oh, I'm so excited. I want to play Explorers of Sky so bad. And then after Explorers of Sky, Conquest, 100%. I'm doing that after Explorers of Sky. But, uh, yeah, I think I've rambled long enough. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time where we will be doing purifications and whatnot and catching the last of the shadows. And until then, farewell.